no. He gets. I can't believe he kicked out of that. Oh no, Kane took the ref out. Kane took the ref out. Now weapons are allowed while the ref is down. He can't say anything. It looks like Kane's gonna do that. That's exactly what he's gonna do. He's gonna get that chair. He's gonna bring it over there and just break the fuck out of Hammond. They're in the ring here. And you got that chair. Oh no, Hammond doesn't let him do it. Oh no, they're locking horns. Oh, he's going with a uh, oh got a power bomb here, or uh, some sort of power bomb form. He's gonna oh, slam him down there. Well, the ref's up now. That weapon ain't gonna be no good. So it's dead now. They both had an opportunity right there. I mean, Hammond had a chance. He kicked out of a two choke slams that were already applied on him. And he could have got that chair and beat Kane with it and won the match, but he didn't. And now he's gonna get slammed on his big fat gut right there. He had a chance to come back, and he didn't capitalize. Oh, Hammond breaks the eyes. Off. Hammond has a good chance to come back here, but he needs to work Kane a little more. He needs to, that's exactly what he got to do. He's got to do more than punches. He needs to, he needs to get another uh, Jurassic Park Hammond drop on him. But I don't, oh, God, he gets thrusted in the throat. Oh, no, another one. It is over. It's now officially over, folks. Kane has won this one. Oh, my God. That's three choke sounds out there on Hammond. He is done. The Folgers is ready. Kane smells it right now. Look at him. Oh, my Folgers. Oh, my Folgers. And the match is over. Kane won. Kane. A pressure victory there from Kane. But coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, is the main event. We're going to see who's in this battle royal. We'll be right back with EWF Takedown. And ladies and gentlemen, here we go, our first participant here in this six-man battle royal number one contenders match. And it is Kurt Angle, or number 70 Angle. Yes, Angle! Yes! I'm marking out right now. I am marking. My baby is in the six-man battle royal. He can win the EWF World Championship. Yes, baby. Look at that. He comes out with a tag team belt that we've had sex with. Yes, this, this is good news right here for me. Angle is going to win this one for sure. Well, it's a shut down, bitch. We don't even know the, the remaining five yet. No, it, it, it's already over. Angle has this one. He is the best wrestler in AWF. He is a rising star. And he will successfully defend that at Whiplash. And then go on to fight and get the AWF World Championship around his neck. I think you're crazy. He's my boyfriend. Where's his puck? He's got to win. Man, Angle been going out for a long time. Here's our next co competitor right here, and it is Regis Philbin. Oh my goodness. The Maxwell representative, Regis Philbin. Him and Kane have, uh, I don't know if they settled their coffee differences yet, but he's still supporting that Maxwell, and he has a Maxwell gloves on. That, I, I don't understand that. Well, see, what happened was, I read the story about this on the internet. Maxwell was going under, and Regis Philbin has a talk show he does with uh, this girl on, uh, a news channel or something that comes on at 9 o'clock and he always has Maxwell in his cup and they notice that they pause it and look and oh here's our next competitor sorry for cutting you off there bitch and it is Chip Douglas Chip Douglas is going to be in this match too but yeah Regis Philbin has Maxwell in his cup and they watch an episode they paused it and zoomed in at his coffee cup and they could tell it was Maxwell and they said you know what we're going to hire him he's going to be our representative and that's, that's how he got that Maxwell well, yeah, that does make sense there. And, you know, Maxwell and Kane don't really mix, so. You know, Chip Douglas needs to step up here. I mean, ever since he lost his EWF championship, he's been off the throne for a long time. He needs to prove himself and win this matchup. That's true. I mean, Jim Carrey used to be one of the uh, most powerful wrestlers in EWF, and he's just slipped up so bad. I, mean, I, I, I haven't seen him since uh, tonight right now I mean, this is the first time I've seen him in a long time and uh, our next competitor right here I oh my god Stone Cold Stone Cold Steve Austin is the next competitor in this battle royal what the hell I guess he's in the AWF now Stone Cold Steve Austin well I mean the emo kid said he, he was going to hire new people well Cosby said we lost a lot and emo kid's just bringing in new people I guess we got Stone Cold in here now the fuck, Austin's definitely gonna win this one. I mean, look at him. I fought him all the time. Well, 
Well, no doubt, Stone Cold is a tough competitor. This is going to be a good match. I mean, I think we got two more stars. We got to see who's going to be in this, in this Battle Royal Elimination. And I mean, Rob, I mean, he's got some, uh, he's going to have some uh, tough competition here so far. And well, speaking of Rob, what the hell? Rob's coming out here. Hey guys, what you doing? It's me, the EWF champion, Rob. Oh, are you going to throw us a commentary? That's right, motherfucker, I'm joining you. Oh, well, ladies and gentlemen, we got uh, the EWF champion in the commentary booth right now, Rob. And here, oh, the next superstar is out here, Under Taco. Oh, he sucks. You know something? I can kick his ass. Okay, because, you know, I am the GameStop manager, Rob Tomato, and I am the EWF world champion. None of these people matter to me. I can beat them all. And you know what? One more thing I want to say. People that come into GameStop and they bring in a, a 360 game and think they're going to get $50 for it, you must be smoking. I, you're lucky if you get a bag of pretzels. That's what I do now. I get pretzels and I give them to you for like, you know, if you trade a 360 the system and you get pretzels. And you should be lucky that you get that. Because, you know, that's how I that's how I teach my uh, people to be. Because I, I do run and own GameStop. Well, you know, I wanted a GameStop one time. I wanted to get a game and you wouldn't sell it to me. You didn't have enough money. You can't. I'm not just gonna give you a game. You gotta buy it. Yeah, but you know, I, I thought I could help a brother out. I'm not gonna play that game. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna help you out. I'm the EWF champion. God damn it! I'm gonna do what I want. Yeah, well, uh, I just want to know what uh, why you join us here in commentary because I want to see what the competition's gonna be, George. I want to see who I'm gonna be fighting at uh, Whiplash and put my belt on the line. Well, uh, I, I want to ask you a question if I could. Go ahead. Did you have anything to do with Jackson getting beat up by Hanson? I just wanted to know that. You know what? Fuck you for saying that, number one. And, no, I didn't. I had nothing to do with that. I know he was going to be the number one contender or whatever, and he won that battle royal last time, but he's out of competition. That's why we're having a new one. He's injured, and I hate Jax. And you know what? I have his secret. Me, Hanson knows the secret too. I don't know how he found out, but he knows the secret. So you know, fuck him. Well, uh, okay then. But well, what the hell? If you sass me one more time, <laughs> bitch, I kill you and your little brothers. Who is this, folks? How the hell? What the hell is this? That's Gunnar Stanson, the unforgivable guy from YouTube. Oh my goodness, folks, we got a new EWF star here, Gunnar Stanson from YouTube. He's the unforgivable guy. We just saw one of his clips there. He's in this battle royal. That's the last man in there. Oh my god. I am marking out big time. I love that guy. Oh yeah, he, he's real funny, all right, making stupid YouTube videos talking about being a gangster. He's not. He's one of the most whitest black people I've ever seen in my life. Look at this guy. A bitch on his shirt. You know something? I wouldn't sell him an M game even if he was old enough. You gotta have your mom with you. So you know, fuck him. And you know what, Bush? I'm glad Jax is out because I never liked him. But he's just not out of competition for a couple weeks. He might be out forever. He's injured bad. He is um, paralyzed from the waist down. I heard. He can't even use his dick anymore, and you feel happy about that. And the match is starting here. This battle royal. I am happy about that. I don't like Jax either. See, that's you're good, Vince. I, 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 you know, that's what we need to do. We need to stick together. Oh gosh, Angle gets slammed down. I'm sorry. I, I'm not gonna pay attention to you right now. I'm watching Angle, and uh, it looks like um, Angle's going behind Chip here, and Gunner Stance has got Chip. He's going with that power slam. Oh, it applies nicely, and Angle trips down the legs of Taco. Looks like he's gonna work on Regis. No, Angle tries to pin Taco, and he kicks out. Look, look, look at these stupid people I'm gonna be, I might be fighting against. They all suck an angle there. Oh my gosh, angle. Angle got a nice little moats out there. Two, three, no, damn it. Regis uh, gets the shoulder up. And, oh, nice uh, Russian leg sweep by Stone Cold. And Gunnar Stanson right there with that big move. That might be his finisher, I think. He might eliminate Chip Douglas right here. One, two, and three. Chip Douglas is eliminated. Oh my gosh, Gunnar Stanson. Fuck Gunner Stanton. I'll kick his ass. I am the champion. And, oh, elbow drop right there. It looks like Gunner and Stone Cold are teaming up. And, oh, never mind. I don't know why I said that. Because, oh, he's throwing Regis to the ropes there. And, oh, he trips him up. Angle's over there, like, trying to have sex with Taco. I know. I'm getting off to it. 